Hey guys, this is the video I sent to my friend after analyzing her, her footage that I got when I was behind her. And uh, it was initially intended just for her to see, but um, I think that you guys would, uh, would enjoy it as well. So uh, it was just me giving her some uh, tips and uh, you know about her lines and we, we, won't, we won't really focus on body position at all. We we're just mostly talking about you know flow of the track lines, how to cut through chicanes and do that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys find this video helpful with your writing. All right, so yeah, today was pretty good. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna show you what I was talking about when I said you want to keep the bike upright in the um, do the sh do the chicane and keep it like uh, in a straight line and stay on the power. <clears throat> um, in these corners, look at where I'm at and look at where where you're at. So let's see if we can find that corner that I'm talking. It was this one right here. So your entry into this corner is really good. You hit the marker and then you come at the X and then stop right here. So do you see how you turn you turn in really late? Like you, you wait for the corner to to um I guess you wait for the apex and you're turning in and you're looking right here for the apex, whereas where I'm looking is I'm looking from right here to right here, right? And look at where you're at. So you're you're arcing the corner over there and look how close I am and look look at where you're at in relation to that. And because you're out so wide, you then need to overcompensate and then turn this corner. And then you see it's the same issue where I'm I'm close to the uh, the curb and then you're turned out like that. <clears throat> so let's fast forward to here. Here you have here you do well through. You carry a good speed. You're going. You're going. I think you're just a, a little too afraid of um, running over that rumble strip, which is fine. <clears throat> okay, so this corner right here is one where, where I was talking about squaring it off. Look at where you're at and look at where I'm going to be. Stop right there. So do you see this uh, this cone right here? That's my marker. Okay, so I'm, in my head I'm just like, I'm thinking, okay, I gotta aim for that cone, aim for that cone. Start turning in and then I'm gonna give it gas and then what it's gonna do is you see how I start shooting wide to the outside of the track? That's normal. <clears throat> well, let's go back. That's called squaring off the corner. So you're coming in. We're we're pretty much in this in very similar positions on the track, but I'm look at where I'm turning in. So I'm turning in way back here, and then you're still waiting for the turn in up there. And then we give it gas. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, so through this section you do really well. You hold your line and then you hit that X pretty much almost every single time that I've seen. There you go, perfect. Let's stop right there. Did you see that? So you hit the X, which is awesome, and that X sets you up for a straight line. <clears throat> So I'm coming through, I'm coming close to the rumble strip, and then I'm standing the bike up, and I'm just going straight, and then I slightly turn it in right here. But then look look at where you're at. You're taking the long way around the corner. <clears throat> just like that. Straight through. Boom. Perfect. You see how I'm saying on the towards the left side of the track? And the reason for that is, look at where I'm going. <clears throat> You're able to set up a straight line from right here. So, from me, here's my here's my uh, my point of view. All I can see is where I want to go, which is up here. If I was on this side of the track, I'd have to look around the corner right here. That's not what you want to do, because then you have to slow down before you even get to that corner. To uh, before to. To make that corner, you have to slow down. Whereas I have a straight line, like a straight visual, straight into that that braking zone, which is over here. So here you go. You're gonna go in, and then you start turning it in a little bit, and you have to get off the gas here because you have to make that corner now. Went a little wide. Took me with you because I was following you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go through this next lap. So 
So you hit your marker right there, perfect. You hit your marker right there, you're pretty close to that X. See where I'm at? See where you're at? Let's let this play out. I square it off, <clears throat> and then you take the long way around the corner. Mr. Husqvarna man. Yeah, so this corner you got down. I I wouldn't really have any um, constructive criticism here, other than um, now that you got it down, you could probably just you could start going a little bit faster to that corner. You see how far to the left of the track that I am in this section? So try to pay attention to where you're at and to where uh, like my bike is. Right here is good. Perfect. You hit your marker. You're riding around the apex. You want to go further to the right, further up on that on that curb. your marker every time <clears throat> but then coming out in this section is where you need to work on just cutting a straight line through it let's watch that one more time so here you come you're coming out of the corner you see how you you're you're making these turns you're, you're turning the the chicane into corners you just want it to be a straight line I'm gonna go through this cane pick up my bike and then slightly turn it left and then turn it at the last second and just straighten it out right here. And here comes Josh, of course. <laughs> that was actually a pretty sweet pass by him. I was not even expecting that. Not even a little bit. I like that you didn't flinch when that guy passed you. Cutting the close to that curve again. So for this, yeah, this corner is a bit tricky because it's it's a fast corner and you don't see the end of it till the very last second. I think this part is where I pass you and then I have you chase me a little bit. Okay, so here we are. Hit that marker. Stay close to that. it off right here, get on the gas, push out wide. We actually, um, behind me was uh, that little boy the whole time. <laughs> we kind of towed him around for a little bit and then he passed us. There we go. That pretty much completes the lap. I think I, I square this one off. Yeah, get on the gas early, push out wide, and then start bringing it back in. Sweet. All right. Um, I will upload this video for you. 
well, the actual original footage, I'll put it up there so you can watch it as well. Alright, yeah, today was fun. Um, you're definitely gonna progress really quick as long as you just stay with like, as long as you stick with it. Uh, hopefully you get a bike soon so you can ride with us more frequently. Alright, bye.